Hello everyone, uh, welcome to some Nautica. Um, today we're going to be playing this, uh, well we're going to be doing a let's play um, of this game. I've already played through it, uh, I've already done everything basically. Um, but I wanted to do a, a hardcore playthrough. I'm going to I'm trying to get through this as quick as I can because time is scarce today. But uh, we're going to play on hardcore which means only one life and no O2 alerts, meaning oxygen and stuff. So that's, that's nice isn't it? So. Headshot. I have to say, I need to I need to up my graphic settings because this is atrocious. I'll quickly do that. One minute. <laughs> this is how you do it. Well, this is how you do it without the uh, stuff. That makes that makes no sense. What am I about? Ow. There we go. That's better. Ow, you bastards. There we go. It's like a fax machine. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Right. Good luck. The reason I'm checking this beacon manager is because I've literally never been in this menu the entire game. <coughs> I'm a bit ill, by the way, so I'm a bit. Well, I say ill. I've got a massive ass. Uh, cold for no reason because uh, I I've literally just dealt with the flu and then not even a week later I'm already got a cold again so that's nice that's great am I in this place again I don't know I have no idea but basically um, yeah in the in the playthroughs I had because I watched uh, Jack Septicai's playthrough of this game recently because I really enjoy uh, his playthroughs and stuff, and uh, I checked them out. I'm gonna just put all this in inventory. Not gonna worry about the flares because I don't need those. Um, there we go. But yeah, um, I noticed that he had different colored beacons, and I was thinking the whole time, how do you get different colored beacons? I, I for some reason I never even looked at that menu. I can't believe that. I just realized this is recording at 60 fps. Jesus. I <laughs> just realised that there might be a bit of stuttering in this. Okay, Jesus! I have no idea how they didn't hit me. He just flew out there, the madman. Jesus Christ! I've only been playing for five minutes. You want to give me a break? Okay, this is actually giving me a lot of input. Like, I'm gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> turn. I'll turn anti aliasing off. There we go. Stop burping. There we go. Oxygen. Oh yeah, and I forgot the oxygen is terrible when you first start out. I love those things. I can't remember what they're called, like rabbit rays or something. I love them. They're just happy little buggers. Uh, now I need this. Take a couple of these. Yeah, that does. Uh oh. Okay, this could be pretty bad if he doesn't piss off. Because I'm not fast. Okay. Alright, so we want to make silicone rubber. So we're going to make a couple bits of stuff that will help us in our journeys. Um, right, so we want to make a standard O2 tank and we want to make some fins. And that will help us go faster. Yep, that's all on. Um, Right, we've done that. We need silver or glass to make that. Uh, I'll make a survival knife. We need a scanner. 
How do you make a scanner? Oh, you actually need batteries as well. There you go. Then. Right, I've got to find a limestone chunk then. Um, so we need to make a scanner. Oh, I need to make a battery. We need to make a scanner and then we need to make a repair tool. Those are the two things we want to focus on. So, a repair tool. Oh. Well, that could be a bit, a bit of a pain in the ass. We need to actually go and confront one of those bastards. Okay, we'll do that because we need the cave sulfur. I'll scan what I can find here as well. Oh, Jesus Christ! Get away! What are you doing here anyway? You're not supposed to be here. You silly Billy. Oh! Who lives in a pineapple on the sea? Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, I recently heard that the uh, sound designer was fired, which is great. Um, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs because I don't want people coming at me about the way I feel about it because it's like people are accusing him of being racist and you know stuff like that. I don't really want to give my opinion on it. I do think that he should be allowed to have his job, um, but I don't. I don't have much of an opinion on what he may have said. I didn't really read much into it, but I really don't think that he should have been fired for it because. This game is brilliant, and a lot. I, I honestly think the sound design is one of the best things about it. Like all the sounds you're hearing right now, I'm pretty sure are made by him. Where is it? There it is. Right, that'll help us early game because we need to. Um... Right, so we've repaired stuff. We've uh, got the scanner. We've basically got what we need. We need to get a sea glide now, which will be helpful. And it's night time apparently. I want to scan Rabbit Ray, yeah. Oh, they're so cute, man. I love them. Come here! You're adorable. You must come to me, my friend. Not you guys, because you guys are just dirty. Okay, and now you're hurting me. Can you not? Is that a sea moth? Fragment. It's a weird place for one. That'll help. We need a vehicle, uh, like a mobile vehicle base, so. I have no idea why Shadowplay is saying recording has been saved. I hope that doesn't show up on the recording, because that would be really annoying. Hold on, let me try and... It won't go away! Go away! I don't know if you can see it. I hope not. If so, you'll just have to uh, deal with it for now, because I can't actually do anything with it. I'll fix it next episode. There's a... That's not a... That's a bioreactor fragment, I'm pretty sure. Hi, Reef Bax. How you doing? Jesus, really just show how high up you are when you at 100 meters. Like, it doesn't seem like much when you're down there, but holy crap. Yeah, fire reactor. This game is incredibly loud for me. I don't know if it's not going to be that loud for you or what, but it's bloody loud for me. Right, so there's another thing over here that I missed. Uh, I'll quickly go check. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, nothing. Well, this game hates me then. Um, I'm not entirely sure where some more things are. Right, so I'm going to go around here looking for some fragments. There's a fragment there. What are you doing? Why are you having a spaz attack in the water, man? <laughs> I love them. They're probably one of my favourite creatures in this game because they're just so silly. Oh, I need that. It's not what I want, but I do need that. If I want to get in those things. I mean, was I scan those? Because this will tell me what I need. Get away from me, you bastards. Okay, well, that's useless to me. That's not as useless, but it's still a pain in the ass. Just knock it on the head. So that was... Oh, oh, Jesus, I should stay away from you. And you guys. I should basically stay away from everything in this area, but I'm... I'm being very daring because I'm trying to find some bloody fragments. That's a space fish egg, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I feel very nervous. This is a sea moth. Please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! I love you! Thank you. Oh, he's angry. What is he doing? I love him. They're so stupid, but I love him. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to say, I forgot that if you hold a tool, you swim. You swim slower. For God's sake, I didn't. I forgot about that. 
I'm going to get you briefly, because I need you for uh, water. For now. Well, I can use bleach, but honestly, can't be asked to go get that right now. Life Force 3. Ah. This is life pod three. ah, emergency sea glide. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Because I'm pretty sure they have a also, fragment of this. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal oh, Jesus. Fire right, so I'm pretty sure there's a sea glide fragment in here, so... Please. Don't, don't disappoint me. Please. I'm begging you. Yes! I don't know if I actually need another one. I don't. Good. Why is this weird? Like... What's a data box? What does it have? Compass. Good. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Integrating new PDA data. Good for you, my friend. I don't know... Oh. I might have a laser car. Oh, there's a scanner. Room. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think I'll be using scanner rooms much because they seem to lag my game a lot. Alright, I can't have much space left in my inventory. I don't. What's in here then? Yes, that's what I was hoping. I think I need another fragment after this. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a look around. That's a bioreactor fragment. So we've got we've got enough of the seam off now, and we've now got the bioreactor. Yeah, I'll just have a look on the edges here, and then we'll head right back. I think I need some air. <laughs> this is the most boring experience of my life. Hurry up! At least I've got the music to accompany me. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, oh, and internal I that. organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. I've got so many materials, Jesus Christ. I've got so much metal salvage, I didn't even notice that. Alright, I don't want to make a wiring kit, I want to make some titanium. There we go. Right, how do you make a sea glide? Uh, lube. Oh, for Christ's sake. Right, we'll make the copper wire right now. Alright, do you want to. Make... Excuse me? Excuse me? Bloody hell, man. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah. Oh. Will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies. I can swim around. And stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod Beautiful. or habitat. Right. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, I think it's a good episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been. Uh, Cool, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry if that recording is saved. What mark is up there? I hope it isn't, but if it has been here the entire time, I do apologise. I will make sure that's not there in the next episode. But uh, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.